thank you for the opportunity to come together in one mind and one accord to to cry out tonight mighty god for our families we lift up our families our loved ones mighty god we we just want to take this time to to let you know how much we appreciate you mighty god holy one of israel we love you mighty god we bless you jesus we praise you praise you jesus praise you jesus we welcome all wherever you are from we welcome you tonight we're going to be praying for people we're going to be crying out for people we're going to be talking about the word of god for a moment we're going to hang out with the holy spirit holy spirit have your way right now have your way in in our homes in our in our lives mighty god wherever our people are watching you from mighty god have your way holy spirit have your way if anybody out there has a prayer request please feel free to uh put it right in there and then uh, thank you for sharing says ron cerna from the ron cerna anti-bully program headquarters out of pueblo colorado excited about colorado I'm, I'm so excited about colorado i'm excited for you brother ron tonight we are having our tuesday night bible study jesus sermon on the mount um i'm excited i've been applying it i've been living it i've been receiving it eating it up just uh really just pushing for for more of god been spending time in alaska been uh just got back from northern california praying with our northern california native american community out there we love you guys if anybody has prayer please feel free father we thank you we bless you uh we're continuing with our sog crew tuesday night bible study jesus sermon on the mount tonight we're going to be talking about matthew 5 5 and i and i encourage you i, I pray that this is a good news message I pray that God would uh, confirm some things tonight for all of us, for all of our families and loved ones, wherever you're from, if you're from the East Coast, West Coast, on some island somewhere, some other part of the world, uh, God is about to connect us in a major way, my people. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. That's what we're going to be talking about tonight. But before we start that, let's get into some prayer. I have some prayer requests from around the country sister esmeralda she sent a text message tj tj continue to spread the word bro amen put that right there tj tj what up tj tj blessings 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 in the name of jesus god is amazing uh esmeralda from colorado she puts she's part of the sog crew she said tonight for bible study will you pray for a couple from La Jara, Colorado, Joe and Elena Navarro. Sister Elena passed away in her sleep last night. They have two kids, a son and a daughter. So, of course, thank you, Sister Esmeralda. I know that these are Pastor Jaime's uh, uh congregation people friends partners and so definitely um let's show a picture real quick that is sister elena uh and brother joe right there and uh we'll pray in a second uh sister elena just went home uh last night and uh our condolences from our family from our loved ones from all of our partners to the community of la Jara to the navarro family we want you to know that you are not alone jesus loves you holy spirit in the name of jesus we just ask that you comfort the family co comfort the children uh the community mighty god all their loved ones oh lord jesus uh just touch them right now mighty god and and bless them and keep them and let your face shine upon them oh lord uh, so we're definitely going to keep them in prayer uh, also, I received a message from the White River 
Apache Nation from the Bonito family. And they wrote, God bless you. Please remember Troy, my son, in the JV Center. So to all of our, uh, if you know anybody that, you know, the kids are in adolescent treatment centers or in the juvenile halls or in any type of custody, uh, we have to continue to pray for the young people. So thank you to the Bonito family. I thank you for humbling yourself. Uh, tonight, we're going to be talking about uh, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. I believe God to the Bonito family from white, from the White Mountain Apache. Uh, you are about to enlarge. Your life is about to be enlarged. Your borders and your territories are about to be enlarged because you humbled yourself asking for prayer. So thank you out there. Uh, Father, we lift up Troy, mighty God. And any child or any partner or anybody out there that has a family member, a youngster that's locked up or in some form of adolescent treatment center boot camp or something, uh, we want you to know that you are not alone, people out there. So uh, send your prayer requests. That's what we do. We love to pray for our people in the name of Jesus. Okay, guys, this Saturday, August 27th, I'm going to be at the light at the Lighthouse Festival uh, th uh, thanks to, uh, the Trinity Lutheran church in San Pedro, California, Christ Afari is going to be rocking it out there with many other artists, as well as the youth stage with all kinds of jumpers and jumpies and crafts and stuff like that for the kids. Uh, very excited. We would minister at this years ago, and it's just a blessing after pandemic to see the partners that are resurfacing uh, and saying, hey, I remember you 12 years ago, 15 years ago. Can you come back? Amen. Amen. This Saturday, I believe our slot is from 1130 to 12. Uh, but uh, you could email me or message me. I could give you the time. Also, in Lake Elsinore, California, uh, one of our uh, partners, Jaime Ochoa from the Riverside, California area, he hooked me up with this gentleman that is organizing an all denominations type of uh, gathering of the community in Lake Elsinore. Uh, they just want uh, the spiritual leaders is what they said. And, and so I kind of just sat back and, 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 and listened as they prayed and organized. And in the past, uh, I have done events where it was like this interdenominational interfaith type of, 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 outreach uh here you have a picture in the past working with the honorable dr clyde rivers in los angeles california near the lax and you have members from the muslim community the catholic representation the hindu uh, representation and they invited me as the christian american representation and, and if you're inviting me as the christian representation i'm going to go off i'm just going to share my heart and i'm not going to hold back in the name of jesus so I'm very grateful that the community of Lake Elsinore has invited me and also different types of faith. Uh, but if you're inviting me, I'm, I'm coming and I'm going to love them with the love of Christ Jesus. So thank you for the opportunity. Uh, um, September 9th and 10th, we're going to be in Page, Arizona. Thanks to my Navajo dad, Dr. Ralph D. We're going to be honoring the honorable Dr. Jim Felix for 40 years of ministry also, I want to encourage and invite everybody from the Apple Valley, California area, high desert area of California to come out to Encounter Youth Conference uh, this Saturday or in, on Saturday, September 17th. I'm going to be out there rocking it. Thanks to the church for whosoever excited uh Nesto, my boy from the high desert, is going to be out there. All kinds of artists are going to be out there. Excited about that. That's going to be Saturday, September 17th. I want all the young people in the high desert area to know uh, we've been working with you guys. Uh, before you were even born, we were working with your parents. Uh, we were working with your aunties and your uncles. And now for the opportunity to uh, minister and encourage and edify and exhort the next generation is a tremendous honor for me. So Saturday, September 17th, let everybody in the high desert area know 
uh, Battle Axe, Dr. Robert Ornelas from the SOG crew is going to come out and encourage and love and rock it and revival and just really push, 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 push. And so let everybody out there know uh, Dr. Robert Ornelas, Battle Axe from the SOG crew is going to be out there Saturday, September 17th at the church for whosoever for a youth conference 2022 encounter. So invite your cousins, nieces, nephews, uh, the neighbors, schools, boys and girls club, uh, the Boy Scouts of America, whoever you want to invite, invite them. And we're going to be out there on Saturday, September 17th. Uh, that's going to be an Apple Valley Encounter Youth Conference working with Angel and Soul Almaza, Almanza. Almanza. Oh, Jesus. Edit. I have to edit that. Also on the 17th in the later afternoon, we're going to be working with New Harvest Fellowship. Uh, thanks to Pastor Ruben in the city of Norwalk, California for their bike where they're going to be up there raising money for missions and things like that. The last thing I want to talk about, uh, if you want to fish, if you like to fish, fly fish, fish in, a, in the ocean, in the river, whatever, if you enjoy fishing, we want to invite you, my Ornelas family, uh, the great Cocopa Nation from the Yuma County area. I want to invite you to the first annual Victor Ornelas Fishing Derby uh, there's no alcohol that's going to be permitted. Uh, fishing from sunrise to sunset. Bag limit according to AZ. That's Arizona regulations. Uh, all ages. We welcome you guys. And I want to leave a reminder that you can fish. If you come, you can fish off the shore of our ancient river. Or you can bring a boat. And we have two uh, platforms for you to launch off uh, on our river for you to come out and enjoy and to pray and to pray for the river that the river stays clean that the river is a, a blessing and sacred so we love you guys we want to invite you to come out to yuma arizona to the colorado river guys uh the cocoa nation is giving us the blessing uh to start a ornelas reunion right on the fishing right there off the river so that's going to be october 14th on a friday uh, that night, I'm going to be rocking it at Crossroads Mission Revival and the next night as well. So we invite you guys to come out. That's October 14th to fish with my family, pray, uh, bring your bring your children. That's my dad right there on the flyer. Uh, there's largemouth bass, bass, rainbow trout, striped bass, channel catfish, black crepey, and bluegill. Guys, thank you to the Cocopa Indian Tribe. Uh, we also want to thank the Cocopa RV and Golf Resort for their amazing uh, just service and, and just being a blessing. And thank you for your kindness and helping us out to organize it. So that's going to be October 14th, uh, Victor Ornelas Jr., first annual fishing derby. So let's get into the Bible. I know uh, TJ, TJ, we had people that believe in Christ. We need to pray and have a prayer chain for everyone that's struggling. We are all struggling with some kind of illness, addiction, mental health, and self-esteem. Thanks, brother, for sharing the words of God. I invite everyone to get on this podcast. On this podcast. Hey, thank you, TJ. TJ, keep pushing. Thank you for the words of encouragement. Thank you for noticing. Uh, God bless you and your family. And we just thank you for being here. Uh, God has a word for you. You're here because God brought you here. Also, what's up, Brother Harley? God bless you, my brother. I'm excited. I still got a couple songs I'm putting out. I still got to prep up. Uh, we're doing a, a, a song with a gentleman, former G unit and different people. And so I can't wait to put out our song. I'm very excited. I've been rocking it everywhere. It's just growing and growing. And I love the momentum so i love you i hope all is well I'll tell your wife hi tonight is our tuesday night bible study jesus sermon on the mount my people uh the beatitudes we're gonna get into prayer again uh the beatitudes if you break it down it means the supreme blessedness i want you to not just be blessed but i want you to be in in a spirit of supreme blessedness i want you to move in the overflow i want you to be I want this blessing to overtake you. I want you to move in the highest level of this blessing, of this great grace. 
Uh, if there's anybody out there and you want to be a minister of the gospel, you believe God has called you to preach, teach, uh, exhort, uh, sing songs, or or be a, a, a last days type of mouth piece uh, that speaks out the voice and the utterance and the frequencies and the anointing, just the open heavens. If you want to be that type of person that is used by God, for God, for the kingdom, for all people, I want to encourage you to stick to the Beatitudes, to the grace, to the great grace um, for sainthood. You might be the highest level of a saint or you might be like me, like the chief sinner. And these are my principles and my blue blueprint that keeps me pushing and striving and seeking and asking and knocking to understand how to be a person uh, that operates in sainthood. I, I want to operate like that. And sometimes I just don't, but this is my pattern that keeps me so I could dust the, the dust off my knees and get right back up and understand that God, that Jesus sermon on the Mount gave me the blueprint. Also pray for Alaska. I just got back from Alaska. Some of the tribes out there were telling me that the, the men were all of a sudden disappearing on some of the villages out there. And so I want to keep Alaska in prayer. I'm going to be heading out there at the end of October, beginning of November. I'm going to be out in Alaska once again, out there praying, crying out, uh, encouraging, uh, whatever God wants me to do. If, that, if that's to encourage the political arena, the churches, the environmental, wildlife. If God wants me on an island in Alaska or defending Alaska against Russia, whatever, if, or just cleaning toilets, I'm, I'm cool with whatever. So have your way, Lord Jesus. I'm believing that this study is going to you're going to increase with your godly character. You are you might be right now at the lowest uh, of, of the lowest right now. But from right there, I want you to have godly character. I want you to humble thyself. I want you to walk in obedience to the rules out there. We have rules. God set up rules and, and it's up to us to walk according to these rules, my people. God has given you the ability to discern. That's what this is. He's giving you the rules so that you understand what is right, what is wrong, what to do and what not to do. Uh, a voluntary surrender of your will, my people out there, a reset. I pray you might have been, this, been watching this show and it's like reset every week, reset, reset. Well, reset again today. And let today be a new beginning. Let today be the dawn of something beautiful in your life. Get away from that nastiness. Get away from that stinking thinking. Get away from those people that are bringing you down, that are uh, uh, violating you, that are hurting you. Let today be a day, this hour, this second, this moment that you are watching this, uh, this online, this live stream, that right now here is an opportunity for you to think big in Jesus right now, for you to believe and walk by faith and not by sight. We love you out there. Let that be the first part of this message. I love you out there and we honor you out there. Wherever you are from, uh, we, we, we love you out there. We bless you out there in the name of Jesus. Matthew 5, 3 says, blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So we start off the beatitudes of something internal, something inside. Uh, we are poor. Understand poor in spirit is somebody that that understands that they are needy, not needy for money or needy for attention or, or needy for popularity, but needy understanding that we can't do nothing without God. I need God at all times when I wake up, when I go to sleep to drive my car, to live in Anaheim, California, to go into these prisons, to go into that hood, to, to start that entrepreneurial, to start that ministry, to start that job, to partner with these people, to move with these people in Northern California, in the East Coast, in the West Coast, in China, and at, to, to operate and flow and step out by faith. God, I understand I have nothing. I have no resources. I don't have the knowledge. I don't have the strength right now, mighty God. So I believe I'm a poor person. But the Bible says, blessed are those that are poor. Blessed are you when you understand you don't got it. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. The next one is, blessed are you when you mourn, when you understand, God, I'm filthy, I am nasty, uh, uh, 
I, I, I've been over here rebuking all these people and judging all these people. But God, I'm the worst, mighty God. I'm the nastiest, mighty God. Oh, forgive me of my sins, mighty God. Forgive me of my iniquities and all the mess and the nastiness. Forgive me, mighty God. Forgive me for wanting to run away. Forgive me for not listening to my elders. Forgive me for not uh, taking the advice, mighty God. We bless you, Jesus. Father, we love you, mighty God. Tonight, this is where we're going to start off. Matthew 5.5, 5. Sister Sandra from Alamosa, Colorado, we love you out there. I thank you for joining us for our Bible study and being a loyal prayer partner. Thank you so much. We, we pray for you. We cry out for you. Um, during the ups and the downs, I'm grateful for the opportunity to know you. So amen, sister. Thank you for being here on this beautiful Tuesday evening. Tonight, guys, we're talking about Matthew 5, 5. So let's get ready. Father, in the name of Jesus, mighty God, open up ears tonight, mighty God. Help us to hear and to understand and to know, mighty God, the direction that you're sending us, mighty God, the direction you're calling us to lead, mighty God. But show us the type of character, how you want us to lead, mighty God. You're telling us to step into the frontier, to step into the unknown, to step into a place that no man has gone before, mighty God. But how do you want me to flow? What is the attitude? How do you want me to do it? Before we blast off, I see you out there, Bridget Cisneros Silva. Thank you for always bringing the word of God to us, to the people. You are such an inspiration since I since I was a little kid. So um, it is an honor and it is my duty uh, for life for us to encourage one another. So thank you for your kind words. Uh, tell Roy, man, um, I love you guys. And, and thank you guys for being in my life back in the day and for being kind to my family and from coming for, from Northern or Northern north orange county thank you for being a part of north orange county community and still being here with us today so thank you bridget i love you uh and i'm very proud i know where you come from and i know where you're at and so it's a tremendous honor to be able to share the word right here so god bless you guys out there matthew chapter 5 verse 5 are we ready blessed are the meek father in the name of jesus speak to hearts tonight mighty god speak to to that one that wants to give up, mighty God. Speak to that one that 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 wants to snap out right now, that's agitated in their soul right now, that's that's agitated in their mind and their thoughts right now, that can't think about their children right now, that can't think about work right now because they're so agitated in their heart, mighty God. We lift up that one right now, mighty God, that, that has, has made mistake after mistake in the anxieties. Father, I pray, mighty God, that that your people would humble themselves tonight, that I would humble myself tonight, mighty God. Blessed are the meek in the name of Jesus. Blessed are the meek. The word blessed is to be happy. Happy are you when you are meek. You got to understand we are in a day that people are going to test you. They're going to bring up your past. They're going to come and try to poke the bear. And, 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 and But blessed are you. I see you out there, uh, Paige Pete. She says, driving but listening. God bless you to all our Alaska natives. I love you guys out there from Copper Center, Mentasta, uh, all the areas out there, all the natives out there in Alaska. Happy are you? Well off are you? Supremely blessed. Happier. The Bible says, supremely blessed and happy or the meek we don't always have to be right if you want to walk with god you got to understand you don't always have to be right you don't always have to be pointing fingers and telling people that you are right blessed or the meek what does it mean to be meek to have a gentle spirit i i man for years i've been just hard i've been like Rrr. i've been no uh, you know real strong i've been a warrior for God, I felt like I was like David in the in the field. And now I'm in a season where God's like, I need you to be gentle. 
Too many people, they seen that you were in war after war after war. You were out there rescuing the, the, the multitudes from, from hell and bringing them from the gangs and the drugs and the opioids. And you were pulling people from different types of thinking and mentalities. And, 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 and you're a warrior. You could sling it with the left and the right with precise. You, 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 you understand how to fight, my son, say it the Lord. But this season, I needed to be gentle. I need you to be of a calm, gentle spirit. I, God, deal with me because your dealings are good. I have to speak it over myself daily. Thank you, God, that let thy will be done. I will not resist, mighty God, your will, mighty God. So many people, you're in the hip hop and you're in the uh, you're you're on this stage and the main stage and the youth stage and and you're traveling and you're rocking it over here and you're doing all this and that and then God's like, I want you to just come over here and and work with this one over here. Meekness towards evil people. There's people right now that are pushing your buttons. There's people right now that are dogging you, disrespecting you, uh, telling you how you can't, telling you how you shouldn't, telling you that you don't qualify, telling you that you ain't right, telling you that your kids are this, telling you that you come from the here, telling you all these different things that are trying to just confuse you and 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 disrupt the flow of god and you have to be gentle spirit even towards evil people that that maybe they do know your past maybe they knew you when you were nasty maybe somebody the other day was telling me they brought up all my past from when i was a teenager and they were like remember when you did this and remember when you hurt these people and remember when you did this and, and remember when you did this to me and remember when and I didn't even, it was like the blood of Jesus really like wiped it clean and it brought up these memories and I was like, oh, Jesus. I was nasty, Lord. But today, God, help me to be meek and gentle towards these people. Help me to be of a mild spirit. I, 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 I'm in Alaska and they're putting me in these newspapers. When, when I first started running out there for Congress, they started dogging me uh, in public, putting things in the newspaper. And you have to have a different type of attitude. You still have to represent Christ, even in that arena. You still have to be mild-mannered, not easily provoked. You got to be easy. When you work in ministry, are you easy? not occupied with self blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth i remember here's a little story right now i'll share a story years ago 20 something years ago i was in a men's home and 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 while i was in this, this men's home I, I began ministering and the power of god was coming down everywhere People were getting slayed and prayed, prayed up, healings, all kinds of things were taking place. And some ministries came and they said, you know what? Brother Robert is very anointed, but he doesn't own a house, so he's really not a man of God. And I remember they said that and it, it was like, what? But they were right. I, I didn't, I didn't. I lived in a men's home, a Christian men's home. So they were right. And, and Melissa and I, we came together and we cried and we prayed and we humbled ourselves and, 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 and we became meek and said, I don't care what people say. God, I want you. I don't care about anything with anybody saying. I want to be meek towards you, God. I want to be gentle towards you, God. I, I want to know how to do it. I want to know how to raise my family, God. When we bought our house, the street, we tried to buy a house over here and we got outbid for, for like two years. We got outbid all over the place. But when we finally got our house, the street that our house was on is called Heritage Circle, the promised land. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. I want you to inherit 
land. I want you to inherit territory. I want you to inherit maybe a ministry region. Maybe God's sending you to Tokyo to be an apostle, to be the leader out there, to be the leader in Denver, to be the leader in Omaha, to be the leader in St. Louis, to be the leader in Chicago, to be the leader in Waikiki, to be the leader in Anchorage, to be the leader in Connecticut, to be the leader in Boston. Maybe God is saying, I'm sending you to inherit a, a territory. Blessed are the meek, for you shall inherit and you shall become the heir. Maybe you were the poorest. Maybe your daddy was in prison. Maybe you didn't even have a daddy or a mama. Maybe you did have your family and it was just a mess. But when you walk with God, when you trust God, when you commit your life, when you submit to Jesus, when you say, Jesus, I receive you as my personal Lord and my personal Savior, O great and mighty one, holy one, of Israel, you you become an heir to obtain by right of inheritance. I want you to obtain something. Guys, if you can hear me, I want you to obtain, Sandra. I want you to obtain something. I want you to get something, Bridget. I want you to get something, Harley. TJ, TJ, I want you to get something and obtain. I want you to inherit the earth, guys. I want you to inherit and become an influencer. I want you to influence the earth and our country, the United States. For me, I'm really believing it's a new season. It's a, it's a, it's a new day for me. Pretty soon, the way I hustle for Jesus in Orange County, the way I am in Southern California, the way I go out there to Central and to Northern California, the way I hustle for my community, the way I hustle for my region of California, Arizona, Nevada, Oregon, the way I work hard in my country and the U.S. territories and wherever God sends me, pretty soon in the name of Jesus, I'm going to be in Africa I'm going to be in Brazil. I'm going to be in London. Like every single day, God is telling me, start eating better. Start thinking better. But humble yourself. I'm sending you to solve issues all over the world, but humble thyself. I'm sending you to be an inherit. I want you to inherit the whole earth. The territory, the region, the ground, every step that you step on, every ground you step on, every place you go, every place that your feet tread upon, the ground you walk on, guys, I want you to inherit that in the name of Jesus. And it comes through meekness, guys, if you hear me out there. So tonight I pray for us, for me, for my children, for your children, for my partners, for our family members, that we would all become submissive to God. There's times that God says, go to Alaska. And I'm like, the first thing I do is I go to my little, my little Bank of America app. And I'm like, oh man, go to Alaska. Okay, God, I'm going to submit myself to your will, God, because it just is, it, 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 it isn't adding up right now. I need to submit my soul for you to manage me. Manage me, great God. Let tonight be a cry. God, I humble myself to you. You manage me, mighty God. Don't let me go here. Don't let me go there. But you send me where you want me to go. And you manage me, mighty God. And in the name of Jesus, give me the strength to subdue this wildness, this wild streak. Humble me, mighty God, because you have something for us, mighty God. Humble us because you have a territory. You have a region with our name on it, mighty God. You have a land. We, you, there's some islands out there that has your name on it. Tame our temper, mighty God, tonight. Tame us, mighty God. Calm those passions, mighty God. There's people that are like, oh, God, God called me over here and God called me over there and God called me. Over there. Hold on, but you're not showing no fruit. Let God tame. Let them calm your passions. I know you're hungry. I know you're ready to get out there in the field. I know, but I don't even do that. I got to. I have a protocol. I got to go to God and then I got to talk to, to my wife. I, I, I send a little message to my pastor. I, 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 there's all kinds of things of, of protocol that I have to do I, I, to submit and to subdue, to calm my passion down. 
I don't just jump into things. And also, I pray that you would have order in the midst of chaos, that you would be a gentleman in the midst of chaos, that you would be a woman of God out there in the midst of calamity, in the midst of the storm, in the midst of the furnace of affliction, chaos. I pray that you would walk in order in the name of Jesus. And we come against that spirit of disorder on our children. We come against that spirit of disorder on, on the ministry, on our partners. We come against the spirit of disorganization right now. All of a sudden, this Jezebel or this type of, of, of division type of spirit tries to come into the camp to divide the camp. We come against that. We come against all confusion, and we come, we come against it through humility. We come against it saying, God, forgive me. We come against it in the name of Jesus saying, Lord, I submit to thy will, mighty God. All the commotion in your heart, all the commotion in your minds, all, all the fears, all, all the drama out there in your mind right now, it's in your thoughts right now. You go to church and you clap the loudest. You go up there on the altar and you cry the hardest. You sing with the worship team the loudest, but you're going through a commotion, a disruption in your thoughts. The answer is humble thyself. Blessed are the meek. For they shall inherit the earth, my people. Romans 12, 19 says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, and I will repay, saith the Lord. We don't have to justify ourselves. I, I go over here, and this hating crew over here, hey, this is what so-and-so saying, amen. I go over here. This is what pastor so-and-so said about you. What? The pastors are talking about people? Hallelujah. The writer of Romans says, dearly beloved, don't avenge yourselves. We don't have to avenge ourselves. It is written. Vengeance is mine. He's saying, dearly beloved, you're my favorite. I'm telling you, you're worthy of my love. Listen to me. You don't have to listen to the world, dearly beloved. You are my baby doll. You're the apple of my eye. You're worthy of my love. I highly esteem you. Don't justify yourself and try to solve your own problems. Back up. Let Humble thyself. I hold you in great respect. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself. Please don't move in a spirit to try to protect and have revengeful thoughts towards somebody. It happens to all of us. People that don't know us, they talk about us. They, they try to talk about this, talk about that. Bless them. Because it's not our job. It's God's job to protect us. It's God's job to defend us, guys. Blessed are the meek. Humble yourself to God. Humble yourself to man. Humble yourself to uh, principalities and powers and rulers of darkness, people that are over you. You don't have to defend yourself. You don't have to punish a person. You don't have to give somebody a, a death sentence. Let it go. Let God just be God. Avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath some of you right now are agitated in your soul you can't sleep at night you're stressed out and you're worried right now he says vengeance is mine the punishment is mine and i will repay i will hand out the the sentence of penalty not you you don't have that kind of power. Humble yourself, the Bible says. I pray that tonight, whether you're on wherever channel you're at, that you have strength under control tonight. We come against that spirit of quarrelsome spirit, that dividing type of hater, uh, uh, agitated of the soul, a revengeful 
a, a, a type of attitude, character. Father, we come against it right now in the name of Jesus. I feel it coming off of some people out there. Spirit of quarrelsome, you have to go right now in the name of Jesus. That revengeful attitude, that revengeful spirit, years goes by, 10 years goes by, 20 years goes by, and that bitterness is right there just hanging on there, and you're just waiting for an opportunity to just handle it. Give us strength under control, mighty God, right now. Help us to be under control. The world teaches us to be warriors. The world teaches us to be the strongest. The world teaches us to be the toughest. The world teaches us to step up and, and do something about it. But I want to encourage you out there to just have self-control, and that shows your strength. Be under control. Like, hold on here. Just let it go. Be strong. We're in a season. There's wars and rumors of wars. We have to be a people that are strong, under control. Americans, can you hear me out there? We have to be a people that are so strong and under control. Revelations chapter 21, verse 7 says, He that overcomes shall inherit all things. Are you an overcomer? Do you have a victorious type of attitude or are you, are, are, are you second place? Do you have a second place attitude or are you victorious? Are you a conqueror for the Lord most high? Or are you defeated? And the Bible tells us, blessed are the meek. You want to be a conqueror in the last days? You want to be useful to, to make laws? You want to be useful to change this world? You want to be a conqueror that helps our society out to help the young people, to help the senior citizens, to help the United States veterans, to help our animals, to help our water and our air and our land, to help in this world? You want to be a conqueror that helps? then we need to humble ourselves to God. That's how we move in victory. We don't have to be right. We don't have to be in people's faces. I encourage you, hold your faith to the end, my people. Oh, I feel breakthrough. I feel breakthrough is taking place right now in the name of Jesus. I want you to win your case. Some of you are going through court right now. I want you to win your case. Some of you are going through like this spiritual battle and you're under a, 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 a cloud of witness in this, this heavenly jury. And, and I want you to win your case by, by being meek. Blessed are the meek. Let this season, let God see you right now as a person of gentle spirit, my people, so that you prevail. So that you could be, so you could last and have longevity. Matthew 5, 5 says, blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. That's our word tonight. I love you guys out there. I see you out there, Trish, Pablo, all the Navajos slash half Pimas out there. It's about humbling ourselves. It's about staying humble. I love you guys out there. And that, that's it. That's blessed are the humble for they shall inherit the earth. I want you to inherit. I, Trish, Pablo, I want you, your children to inherit land, inherit a territory, to inherit uh, just a, a, a new vision, to inherit, just inherit just a new house, a, a, a new building to inherit a new just opportunity. Tell Streaks I said hi. Streaks. Blessing to all, our, all of our teenage Navajo Nation out there.
here we go. I have a a request right here. They said, "How do you, how do I get my twelve year old to stop looking deep into the Bible? She's slowly becoming atheist from all the things she isn't being taught in school. And yes, we're all going through that actually." This is the first time that, you know, for years we would do revivals with the Apaches, the Navajos, or over here, these people wanted revival. But today, uh, everybody wants revival. And to me, revival means the fire of God. And so I want to encourage everybody that's going through this type of issue where our kids are being taught through this type of philosophies that are against our God, our holy God, and our holy Bible, uh, as citizens of the United States of America, Christian Americans that are battling this, I want to encourage you to take a look at the scriptures. I, I, I'm not prepped on it. I'm not going to Google it to see where it's at. But when the fire came down on Mar Mount Carmel, Elijah, he tells the false prophets or the Baal prophets, the, uh, the, the prophets of Jezebel, to... He says, the one that answers by fire, he is God. And so when it comes to all these different issues, this is a major issue and there's a lot more. Uh, but when it comes to the issues of immorality and uh, people that are atheists that are preaching this type of different type of philosophy doctrine down our, the throats of our American citizens that uh, we have to as parents, we have to cry out for revival. We, we need that revival spirit, that fire to hit us and, and let it overflow to our children. So all of a sudden the teacher's crying. All of a sudden the, the coachee is crying. The lunch lady is crying. Uh, the principal is crying. Why is the principal crying? Because the fire of God is resting on those that are starving and that are paying attention to the principles of the word of God. It says, blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth so father i humble myself let your fire and your power let thy kingdom come upon me as i humble myself i'm not trying to make it happen mighty god but solve the issues in our american schools mighty god loosen fire on me right now so that when i walk into that school all of a sudden my shadow alone is delivering the 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 the, the counselor and the vice pr uh, principal and all the people Blessings to all of our people from the little island in Hawaii called Lanai. Lanai. Blessings to all of our people. We're trying to uh, do a concert out there. We'll be out there soon, God willing, in January or February in Lanai, visiting all our Filipinos, all our all our family out there, all the Christians out there, all the the kids out there. So uh, even in Hawaii, drama. You go over to Chicago, same thing. You go to Brooklyn, same thing. California, same thing. Albuquerque, same thing. Fire of God. I pray for the fire of God. Let, let God answer by fire. Let the one that answers by fire, let him be God. Let that be the type of, uh, 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 of, of, of doctrine that we want. The one that answers by fire. And everybody's crying in this godly sorrow through that fire of God, through that intimate relationship that overflows into the hallways. She said, my daughter goes to a private Christian school. She literally reads deep into it and is having major issues. My kids went to private school. They went to Orange Lutheran. You can look it up. Uh, it's one of the best schools in California. Christian school, Lutheran school, same thing. We have to, we have to fall in love with Jesus. We need revival in our hearts. We need uh, blessed are the meek. So tonight's message is blessed are the meek. We have to humble ourselves to God.
and then we could inherit the earth or the the school or the community or the county then we can inherit that region and make decisions and, and say what we don't agree with and say how we believe this is immoral and say how we don't agree with the way that these people are talking about this and but if you feel you need to talk about it please send me your information uh my name is robert ornelas amaya ornelas uh, they call me Battle Axe from the SOG crew, uh, Pastor Rob, Dr. Rob. Uh, you can look me up, Google, whatever. Send me a message. I'd love to just talk with you. I'd love to come out to your school if I have to. Uh, so, Father, we love you. I love everybody out there. I see you out there, Brother Josh. Uh, you're welcome. Blessings to all of our Filipinos, half Filipino, half Japanese. Trish Pablo from the Great Navajo Nation near Gallup, New Mexico says, I had to take my boys out of this Christian school they were in because they were getting taught differently and it was confusing them. They're doing good now at a different school. You guys know I visit schools, right? Uh, I work with the Ron Cerna Anti-Bully Program out of Pueblo, Colorado, and I also work with the Bureau of Indian Education. And so we visit schools and so we don't have a problem coming to your schools and and doing an assembly so uh please trish uh tell the kids to talk to the counselor we'll come tell him my uncle battle Axe said he'll come out here and, and humble himself as he talks to people i love you guys out there if anybody needs prayer or if you want to keep asking questions i'll be here for a couple minutes so we love you guys out there i do care tell your daughter i can't even pronounce that Kelly, Kyla Vintick, my daughter goes to private school. Tell your daughter that we're praying for her. We lift up all the kids out there, mighty God, of our partners that are confused through a different way of teaching, mighty God. Oh, Father, thank you for humbling us, mighty God. Well off are the meek. Supremely blessed are those that humble themselves to God and to the people supremely blessed great grace i see you out there mark martinez man of god uh chaplain movie director podcaster media guru friend All right, guys, we love you out there. If anybody has any prayer requests, feel free. Hit us up. We love you. We bless you. We honor you. Uh, blessed are, are the meek, for they shall inherit. I want you to inherit and, and obtain the earth. God has something special, a piece of land or a territory or a region for you. I want you to obtain it. I want you to take that new life. I want you to take that new opportunity for your children. I want you to take, snatch that up. That is, that is your right. Take it. But it comes through the door of humility. It comes through having a gentle spirit. And if you knew me from the past, I did not have a gentle spirit. I was a wild animal. I was like a, a half wolf dog type of person. I was radical, didn't care, didn't listen, didn't. I just, I was taught way out there and it's these types of principles that brought me back, uh, brought me back to life that brought, that gave me an opportunity to be a, a, just a regular person, a man of God, a husband, a dad, a grandfather. And it's been a tremendous honor to serve God all over the place. And, and it's like a, it's like a dream. It's like a, a storybook. You know, my life is like a storybook. And so I don't mess around with it. I don't play games with it. And so if God, even in that storybook and this amazing life from poor, the poor, from the poorest to having a, a peaceful life. And today God is like, humble yourself. If God is telling me to humble myself because he has a piece of land for me or a new missionary field for me. When my kids were growing up, uh, Joshua loved San Francisco. You know, I took them all over the world. 
I took little Robbie all over the world. To lands that weren't theirs, to cities that they never build and homes they never build. But through God and humbleness, he gave us an opportunity to teach our kids different. To expand their thinking, to expand their minds. To understand that God is possible. Through God, all things are possible. So I love you guys out there. Sorry for just going off. Have a beautiful week. This Saturday, I'm going to be in San Pedro, California, right there on the beach. Streaks is in varsity volleyball and a senior this year. So prayers and strength for her. Tell Streaks, tell Streaks, the, the Navajo princess from the Gallup, New Mexico area that we're very proud of her. And it's a, it's a blessing to get the update. And I'm so grateful that, that she's my friend. And so I'm going to be praying for you guys. Pray that God humbles us all so that we have something to inherit. Love you guys out there. On behalf of my wife, Melissa, my entire family, all our loved ones, SOG crew, all our partners, all their children, we love you guys out there. Amen.